Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm going to do a quick one before I go to work because I'm going to be busy after work. So, I'm doing it before work for a little bit. Good. I wasn't on live yesterday because he. I came home from work and he made me dinner. And then um, we played our game. And so, um, where have I been all your life? Hey, hey, hey. So, um, the mountains of North Alabama. So, he's actually doing really good, shockingly. He's doing a lot better than we thought he would be doing. Considering what they had said, he's actually doing, he's actually doing pretty good, to be honest. He's been basically just taking the ibuprofen and Tylenol. Thank you. Um, have you even taken that today? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I took it when I took my antibiotics. I don't want a chance being in pain today and not getting anything done at all. Right. So I, I take it just to take it now. Uh, defensible, I couldn't tell you. Um... I couldn't tell you. I know that I erased a lot of people that were following different snark pages. And here's my thing. I know that some people that I got were probably not shitty followers. Especially from one of the accounts um, in particular. Because it originally wasn't like a super snark page. So I know that I had actually gotten some people that were not necessarily shitty which is why i was that which is why i'm allowing you know some people to come back oh unfortunately i'm not really sure i'd have to look at the names to remember exactly which ones i was like eh, maybe i shouldn't do it but there was a couple that um like i said i i had my reservations about star i keep i keep meaning to put you back on i just keep forgetting did the person acting as me what do, you, what do you mean acting as me? There's somebody acting as me. I don't I don't know what that means. I didn't tell you I don't know what that means. I know somebody's acting to be me. That's kinda hard to do considering I have you know, unless they steal my face. That, that's gonna be kinda hard to do. You guys know my accounts. I have a video pinned in my TikTok that says what my accounts are. So those are my accounts. This is my face. Someone, oh. I've heard I've heard about that. The face off too coming to a theater near you. Who who am I gonna face off with though? Gonna be can it be somebody like really good looking? That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, yeah, so I just I only really plan on being here on here till three because I gotta go to work. So hey Ozzy. You were just on you were just on YouTube two seconds ago. So I said in my live, what are you talking about? Um, you even posted your picture and these people think you're the other Courtney defended me. Okay. Oh, you're on both? Nice. Um I said I gave someone a chance to admit it was them. I don't know what the fuck you are talking about. Like, I literally have no idea what the fuck you are talking about. Okay, Courtney, you've said that like three times. I can see it. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Did I hear who did it? Yeah. Did I hear who did it? Yeah. I've heard a lot of things recently, the past few days. I've, I've heard quite a bit, to be honest. <laughs> I've heard all sorts of shit. I, um, oh, hi. I think that's adorable. You thought you were, you thought you did something, by the way. We'll, 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 we'll talk to this person for just a second. You thought you did something because you found an old Facebook of mine that I've shown on here. And now you have my picture under the name Athena Lee. Um, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to acknowledge all that. So hold on. Um, you thought, you thought you did something because you found an old Facebook line. The one that I showed the pictures off of. 
Not really hiding it. Not really hiding it. Uh, the information that was found out, though, about what? About what? What information do you think that you found? I have to, I have to really, really laugh at these people at this point because they are they're reaching so bad. I don't know how they haven't broken their necks, <laughs> to be honest. Did I see that horrible video on April's? No, I did not. God, I feel like I wake up and I'm just being like, what the fuck? I do have big fans. Was, was yeah i know i don't I'm, i have no idea no um oh you mean about me and my husband's ties to an offender let's talk about that for a hot second so i was friends with this girl named carla who has passed by the way and i went to her house who we stopped hanging out with before she passed exactly so i was friends with this girl named carla and she was dating this guy and his name was don and so Andrew, in his typical fashion, which he doesn't get on Facebook, like, almost ever. You can go look. He doesn't really get on there, like, ever. Facebook it's for messenger. messenger. He doesn't get on there, like, ever. So when we stopped talking to Carla, he left Don on there. Now, last year, Don got caught with a lot of fucking problems, okay? Absolutely, 100%. Now, from what I understand, he's been in the slammer since that happened. Okay, so apparently, because my husband hasn't cleared out his friends list on Facebook ever, ever, there's he has people on his family he doesn't even talk to on there. But hey, we're not going to talk about that. From my high school years on there, I don't exactly. Talk to. So you know, we'll talk about it for a hot second because it made a, a, I saw a TikTok about it that I commented on. So we'll talk about it for a hot second. So we have Athena Lee here who thought they did something by finding an old Facebook that I have shown on live <laughs> with a picture of me. And for whatever reason, they went from that one. They went over to my husband's Facebook. And I'm going to show you guys how bad they are trying to find something on me. So they went to my husband's Facebook. Okay. And they went through his entire friends list trying to find something that they could get my husband with. Okay. And they happen to come across a guy that we don't talk to anymore. Hell, the guy's been in the slammer since the middle of 2022. Okay. So apparently, because my husband didn't clear out his Facebook when we stopped talking to this person, apparently my husband is in works with the guy. Now, if, now mind you, if you run my husband's background report, and I did, just to say, shits and giggles. All you'll see is some driving citations that he's had because he drives 70 hours a week. Now, week, they've alluded to the fact that somehow my husband has been involved in this because he has this person on his Facebook. Okay? Sure Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Exactly. A lot of people have him on his Facebook because some people don't clean the shit off. Here's my thing. So... These people at this point are reaching so hard that they're running people on my husband and I's Facebook accounts trying to find something on my husband. Have fun. Run, it, run his background report. We're going to talk about this too. So apparently also with him having this big gigantic record, we got foster care approved in Michigan and Kentucky. With this big fucking record, right? You know, the one where they have to be fingerprinted, ran through databases, have all your shit checked, references. Somehow, we were able to foster care in both Michigan and Kentucky with this big, crazy record that people seem to think he has. That he doesn't have when you go and run his background report. So, I would love to know exactly what you think you did there. Now... On top of going through my husband's Facebook and finding people, and they had to literally go through and look up each person on my husband's Facebook in order to find some type of supposed dirt on him, okay? Let's just go to that at this point, okay? So we have that. Now, I found out the funniest fucking thing on the planet, 
on the planet. So for those of you who have been my followers for three years, you're going to get a big fucking giggle out of this one. There is a rumor that somehow we are collecting underage girls and adopting more than just Ember. Apparently, guys, there was a girl named Shelby. And we adopted her before Ember. Apparently, the goblins ate her. I don't know where this Shelby no, person went. The name I have tattooed on so, my so, now can anybody in this chat Inform them who Shelby is. Can anybody in here that has been following me for the past three years tell them who Shelby is? And matter of fact, if you don't believe me, feel free to look up her uh, Facebook account. That was Shelby Dahlia at one point. Um, Shelby Saw Miller on um, Instagram. Knock it off. I got it. it. Oh, your arm. Okay. This right here. Okay. Oh, look at that. This right here. So what is that? What is that? Okay. What is that? What that is? No, I'm not Shelby. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was Stacy. Get it right. What is Shelby? What is Shelby? Shelby was Ember's fucking birth name before we got her. I just figured out a way to get that. Change that. I have to do a complete blackout. What? Put a Mustang oh. next to it and then <laughs> right. put Eleanor right below it. Because Eleanor is a Shelby Mustang. Right. The, right. So here's the deal. By the way, if you don't believe me, I have plenty of pictures. I have plenty of pictures. And if you want to go ask Ember herself, feel free. Her birth name was Shelby. When we adopted her, we changed her spelling. So let, let me give the story for those of you who don't understand. So when I adopted her, her name was Shelby with a Y. Delia, that was supposed to be Dahlia, spelled wrong. When we adopted her, we changed her spelling to I-E because I can't stand Ys. My birth name is spelled with a Y. So we changed it to I-E, hence the name. We changed the spelling of Delia to Dahlia like her mom had wanted. Because she wanted to keep the names with her sisters. The cars with the flowers. We added Lee for my mom's middle name. Okay. So. When I changed my name. From my birth name. When I got to Kentucky. Because I've told you the guys the story a million times. It's not to hide anything. You can still Google me under my original name. Everything's there. My, my background report is fucking boring. Okay. Feel free, hundred percent. Go go do go do my old legal name. I'm not hiding from shit. Your background report doesn't go away. So, I've told the story a million times, but well, apparently I'm gonna have to tell it again. So, after I did mine, March seventeenth of twenty twenty one, Ember decided she wanted to change her name a week later. She had had a fallen out with her sisters, and she decided at that point that she wanted to change her name from Shelby. Dahlia Lee to Ember Lee. So no, we are not collecting a bunch of foster kids. Shelby is Ember. You can feel free to ask her or I can feel free to show you all the shit I have. Either way, doesn't matter to me. Ember is Shelby. And if you had done any portion of time of looking, you would have found that out. It's not hard. So at this point, what the people who have looked at my me or my husband for, if they would have ran my background or my husband's background report, you'd see that his has citations for driving because he drives 70 hours a week and mine is completely fucking empty. There is nothing that has tied us to anyone, anything, anyhow, any crime, any whatever. We have been foster care approved in both Michigan and Kentucky. We closed our account in Kentucky during COVID. COVID hit and we closed it because I didn't want people in my house going in and out with COVID. So we closed it in COVID. You can look that up if you somehow managed to find it. Now, I'm handling it better than you would because at this point, the things are so ridiculous that I cannot even fucking fathom how ridiculous it is. Okay. So the rumor du jour today is that Shelby is some random foster child we have in our basement that's ember 
that my husband has a convicted uh, SA offender of children on his Facebook list. He does. We were friends with him in 2020, 2021. And then he went to jail after we stopped talking to him. I don't care if you believe it or you don't. These people had to go to my husband's Facebook, which they then posted pictures of because there was public pictures. And go through his entire fucking friends list to find a blip. Congratulations. You found a guy we don't talk to anymore. Good job. So Shelby's Ember. Don's in prison. I have no background, anything on mine, and nor does he. Feel free to do it. They found my Facebook, which I've been completely open about. By the way, it's Athena Lee and Stacey Geyer. If you care to go look, they're both locked down because of people are like this. Athena Lee used to be under the name K. Murray, 100%. I've been more than candid about this in the past two years. Not hard. The reason that I had the K. Murray, I'll go through all of this. I don't give a fuck. I had Stacey Geyer back when we all had Facebook, right? I had a bunch of religious fucking family on there. They drove me nuts. Why so many fake names? I'm going to tell you why. Sit down, shut up, and I'll go into it. So I had Stacey Geyer because we all had our legal names on Facebook back in the day. Well, then there used to be things called Cityville, Farmville, etc. And instead of bogging down my already annoyed account from my religious family members, I made a second one. I named it Kate Marie. Okay, why did I name it Kay Murray? Because you guys have heard me tell the story a million fucking times at this point, but we'll reiterate it again. As you guys know, I do not speak to my siblings, mainly because one of them was being hunted down by the FBI. He's got a couple screws loose. So I put the name Kay Murray, still used my middle name, used K from C-A-Y from Stacy. not hard. Okay, used a nickname, made a new Facebook, played games on it. Oh my God, so scandalous. Let's continue. So, after I had K. Marie, I changed it to Athena Lee. Why did I do that? Holy shit, so many aliases. Because when I was changing my name, I was going to change it to Athena Lee. I love Athena. She's amazing. So, I was going to change it to Athena Lee. So, I changed the Facebook to Athena Lee because that's what I was going to do. Now, Athena Lee, I'd had at that point for about 10 years. And I like to post a lot of scandalous shit on Facebook. So I was getting 30-day bans. And it was attaching itself, because it was in my phone, to the Stacey Geyer account. So at this point, I'm getting locked out of Facebook left and fucking right. So I had an account, here we go, named Willow something. Willow something. It was Phoenix and it was Willow. I love, I love all sorts of crazy shit, right? And so then I, at that point, changed it to Ryan Lee because I decided to change my name to Ryan Lee. And there you go. I had Stacey Geyer, which was my birth name, that has a bunch of religious family members on it that drove me nuts. Used it for college, etc. Had my K. Marie, which turned into Athena Lee for to have games and to be under a pseudonym so my brother would not find me. Because he's a little wonko. And then I had Ryan Lee. Because I was locked out of Athena Lee for 30 days at a time. Does that help you at all? Does that help you at all? Okay. Does that help? Did, did, I, did, I, did I pull out the crayons and the red tape enough to understand what the fuck I'm talking about here? I have went through these conversations numerous times in three years. As my followers in here that are saying as just as much. These stories have been... Fully accessible for three years. But suddenly, you think you did something. You think you did something. You found an old Facebook, which, by the way, if you guys uh, remember correctly, when I was showing videos of me and my husband on here, it said Athena Lee right on it. Good job. You can read. So, we have two Athena Lee accounts on TikTok at this point. One of them in my TikTok right now. Who thought they did something? Took an old picture of me, put my old name on it. Oh, my God. So scandalous. So then they found my husband. Congratulations. You found my husband. He had somebody on his friends list that has a record. Holy shit. Oh my God. So therefore, he must be involved in it. Must be involved. Somehow, way, shape, or form. After they went through my husband's Facebook, just, what, 
Just well, running people. The joke on the, just uh, running people. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. So then they thought they really nailed it home. They thought they really nailed it home. My husband and me had a picture taken, I believe it was uh, during college, Tiger at a Stadium. Tiger Stadium game. And he looked creepy. Let's be real. The man looked creepy. At that point, I looked creepy. He looked creepy. I had a fro, dude. Yeah, he, lo he looked creepy. I made the comment that he looks like a pee. And then said, oh, wait. And that was all they needed. I had confirmed the scandalous rumor of him and so Dawn. A joke about how I looked in a photo. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? By the way, that comment was made in 2000. It was made 10 years ago, according to the picture. It was made in 20. Uh, the picture was actually done in 2012 when I was in uh, college. Okay. Since then, we have been approved through checks through the state and federal to be uh, foster parents in both Michigan and Kentucky. Pretty sure they would have found that out with all of the name changes that that's what happened with through the fingerprints that would have been left everywhere you thought you did something you really thought you did something didn't you pretty sure i just explained all of that shit okay and if you don't believe me i don't care keep putting out whatever fucking rumor you want because here's the thing if you guys have not noticed, the rumors have gotten more ridiculous as times went on. Here's the deal. I challenge you to find proof of any of that. I challenge you to find anything other than driving citations on my husband's record. I challenge you to find anything on mine because it's completely fucking empty and boring. Feel free to run it. Go ahead. Matter of fact, I've already done it. And I would post it on here. But I... I'm not posting it on here. Number one, it's going to get flagged for putting out personal information for starters. Two, go pay for that shit. Earn it. Earn it. Go pay for that shit. Go pay for that shit. You thought you did something, Athena Lee. You thought you did something. You thought you did something. Oh, Andrew, get over here. Show your hands. Show your hands. Hurry. 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 Okay, Phoenix, go right again. Go right again. Oh, let me guess. We gave Phoenix the account, right? We gave Phoenix the account, right? Phoenix has been going after Thea since before I knew who Thea was. Since before I knew who they were. Okay? They've been going after Thea since last fucking year. And I've only known, I've only known her of her since fucking January. Do the fucking, go look at the goddamn videos. Oh, you'll say I'm not the one who found all that info. Oh, tear. No, you just put it all out there as fact. Fact that we had Shelby. Shelby, the daughter that we have in the basement because we run a pee ring with Don. Shelby, who was Ember, and Don, who's in jail. Ooh, you thought you did something. You thought you did something. You thought I was going to hide. I was going to cry. I was going to freak out that they found my dirty little secrets. <laughs> I'm being as dramatic as they are. I'm being as dramatic as they are. You thought you did something, didn't no, you? About as dramatic as a you thought you did something. You thought you did something. Let me guess. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Now, these are all high school women you're talking about, right? I don't know. I think they're all middle-aged women with no jobs oh, and, no, and bad husbands. Right and there. bad husbands. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Okay. Here's, here's the rumor on Reddit tomorrow. Well, the here's, the, here's the rumor for Reddit tomorrow. Ryan has had time to put this story together. She sat last night crying absolutely in tears of what we found and she made this whole story up oh and i'm still waiting for this big surprise that we're for this oh for this God, big God. horrible she made this whole story up except i've been talking about it for three fucking years three fucking years and anybody who's been following me for three fucking years would know that you're on here all riled up 
yapping about it and trying to explain. So clearly something was done. Well, if I don't, okay, so let me hear this. So if I don't acknowledge it, I'm hiding. If I do acknowledge it, it I'm hiding. Good. Figure it the fuck out. Either way I go, according to the internet. Honey, but you gotta understand, that's how Trumpers are because that's how Trump is. So explain that to me. If I hide it, if I hide it, if I'm not talking about it, I'm hiding things. And if I talk about it, oh, look at her defending herself. She must have something to hide. Shut the fuck up. Anybody who's been, any people who has been in my, look at this. People who have been following me for three years, this is old fucking news. Listen, new Reddit people. Go, read, if you're going to do shit, at least go read the old Reddit feed. At least go read the old Reddit feed so you can at least get up to par. At least get up to par, for God's sake. Jesus Christ. You thought you did something there, didn't you? Now, that being said, let's talk about this. Maybe what's happening is karma, though. That's what your followers like to call it, right? Karma. What's karma? A couple of people calling me out for shit didn't happen on the internet. That's my karma? Cool. Awesome. Perfect. That's the karma I got? Love it. Love it. So the karma I got it's is a bunch. The karma that I have is a bunch of ass wits on TikTok, the armchair detectives that found old shit that think they're new. That's my karma. Oh damn. Oh damn. I'm screwed. Oh no. Heaven forbid. Holy shit. And. I've been more than candid with this shit. I've been more than transparent with this shit. I've told you guys everything a million times. Guess what? I have two bankruptcies. I changed my birth name in 2021 because I didn't like it. And because I moved to Kentucky because I had a job change. So I changed my name and changed who I was because I wanted a nice, fresh start. Okay? Wanted a nice, fresh start. But she's changing it again. She has things to hide. Look at the motherfuckers out here. Talking about my whole ass name, putting me out all over the place. Yeah, I am changing my fucking name. I am a hundred fucking percent. You tell me what the fuck you all would do when y'all they're putting out. Let's see. Let's put all. Let, let's go with what they've done. They've put out my legal name. They've put out my birth name. They've called my job. Apparently, satellite photos of my property. But so, but I should. I should just. I should just like not. But Whatever, right? With oh, a yeah. False report. Talking about they're going to call a fucking animal control with false reports of my very well taken care of animals. Y'all want to take shit real world. So, yeah, we're changing our fucking shit. Now, is it easy enough to find my birth name? Yeah. You know why? Because somebody on here recorded my YouTube of me doxing myself and put Stacey Marie Geyer, a.k.a. Ryan Lee, a.k.a. Athena Lee, a.k.a. K. Marie. Bravo. Guess what? You ain't going to know my next name. Feel free to run any report you got. That was you about the dog. You apologized. That was Okay, wait a minute. Larry. According to this, me and you were supposedly good about a month ago. I want that for posterity. I doxed April outright. Really? I gave out her address. I don't think you guys understand what doxed means. I never gave her address. Matter of fact, I didn't even say what city she lived in. She did. Matter of fact, no, Thea did. She put, she's the one who called the Louisville police. I never gave her address. I gave her whole criminal record that was public record. That was public record. Go find mine. Go find my public record. Go dox my public record. And by the way, I need you to look up what the actual term of doxing is. I didn't give where to find her. I didn't give her social security number. I didn't give anything that was public record. It's public record. That's not doxing. So for April and Thea having their panties in a fucking bunch, it's not doxing when it's public record. Hate to break it to you. Look it up. You know, I've seen posts, Thea talking about my whole last name, putting my whole last name out there. Stacy Marie Geyer. They say Murray Geyer. Oh my God. Andrew Geyer. Blah. She's mad. She does it. 
How about, how about April? April, who spelled my whole last name out, wrote a whole Good Wives little thing about it. Huh? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. So, just like Trump fashion, I'm sorry to say this, they're allowed to do it. We're not. My husband is a, is a diehard, not Trump fan. Anti-Trumper so just, here. So, just deal with it. If you don't like it, scroll on. Okay? Yeah. It's not like it, private. Take a look at It's yourself. not private. Okay, anything. So I put out her record. You know what? You don't want your record put out? Don't have one! You don't like the fact? You don't like the fact that people out the shitty shit you've done? No, he's not a fan. Uh, if you don't like the shitty shit, if you don't like people calling out the shitty shit that you've done, don't do the shitty shit. And here's another thing. Guess what? You know what? If somebody calls you out on it, own it. Just fucking own it. You know what? I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I did it. I fucked up. Guess what, guys? You want my record? Two bankruptcies. Guess what? Fucking did it. Fucking did that shit. My husband got hurt at work. We got a pay cut. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just own it. Instead of being pissed that somebody put it out there, just own it. I fucked up. Just say I fucked up. April's mugshots are online. They're online. They're on fucking line, bro. But now you guys, because you're mad that I put out a couple of public records, public. You want to do chapter seven? Do not do chapter thirteen. We are paying for do that. Do not shit. do chapter thirteen. Don't do chapter not thirteen. Worth it. You're fucked for five years. Don't do it. So because I put out public, public court records, public. Y'all are calling my job. Y'all are putting my address out there. Y'all are threatening to call animal control on my very well taken care of fucking animals. Because I dared to put out a public fucking record. That's some shit. You want to talk about real fucking world? You want to talk about real fucking world? Oh yeah, they called my job. They called Courtney's job. They've called CJ's job. They're calling jobs over this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Who's they? They know who they are. Matter of fact, I know exactly who called on me, Thea. They told me. Oh, you wanted that. You wanted me to get on here freaking out. I saw it all over Reddit. Ryan's going to get a knock, knock, knock on the door. Ryan's going to get it. Ryan's going to get it. Ryan's going to get a knock, knock, knock on the door. Yeah, they're knock, knock, knocked on the door. Thea. Thea called the police on me. She called the police. You know what the police said? It's fucking online bullshit. We won't be back out here. There she is. She's right here. Yeah, Thea. They came. They came. We had a good laugh. And they said, Thea Miller called on you. Go to Reddit. Thea, Thea admitted to it. She said that we're going to get a knock on the door. Stacey Marie mm. Gaia. Didn't even knock on our door. No, they pulled up. They said, hey, you Stacey? No. No. <laughs> no. No. But hey, what's up? What's up, Doc? What do we got? Oh, this girl, Thea, she's got, she's, uh, she says that you're doing this and that to her online. She says it's online and that's your bad person. And I said, Thea, really? Fucking really, Thea? Fucking really, Thea? Fucking really, Thea? I didn't make up a snark page. I promise you that. I promise you that. I don't even know how to fucking run with it. I promise you that. If I did, let me tell you, if I did, I would fucking tell you. Oh, I'd fucking tell so you. Much shit. So they showed up and you know what they said? This is fucking ridiculous that this woman called on online drama and we won't be back. So have fun, Thea. By the way, it happened a few days ago. Just like she said, just like they wrote on Reddit, they had a good little giggle that they were going to call the cops on me. They were going to have a good little giggle. They said, we're going to get, we're going to get Ryan. Well, I'm sorry. We're going to get Stacy. We're going to call the cops on her. They did. They came out and said, this is online bullshit. We won't be back. Joke's on you, Thea. And they told me it was Thea. 
They told me it was Theo. Yeah, they told me it was Theo. So congratulations, Theo. Congratulations. They came, they saw, they left. Actually, funny, I'm going to tell you a funny story. I'm going to tell you a funny story. So the cop, because he, and he's agitated, he had to come out there over online bullshit. You know my, you know my old lizard cage? I can show you guys this. It's actually fucking hilarious. He's agitated. He had to come out here on this online bullshit, right? My old lizard cage is sitting outside with a with a plant hanging down, Ready to right? Go up to the trash. Ready to go up to the trash. There's a, there's an old lizard cage with a with a fucking plant in it. He goes, "Is that a marijuana plant?" And I said, "No." <laughs> he says, "You're sure that's not a marijuana plant?" And I said, "No, sir. Come feel it. Do you think I'm that fucking stupid?" He said, I've seen it before. So he came and he felt my plastic rubber plant. <laughs> and then he left. Yeah. So. so a guy. I was on the phone with her the entire time. Yeah. He was on the phone with me. So you got, I got my knock on the door. What was it? Monday. Monday. It was Monday. I got a knock on my door Monday. And they told me that Thea had called the police on me, which she had she had had a good laugh about on Reddit, you guys. You can go look. She had a nice big laugh that I was going to get my karma. I was going to get what was due to me. I got a cop who said he didn't give a fuck, that this was online bullshit, and he was wasting his time. And he fondled my fake plant, according to Bree. Yes. Okay. So you guys have at this point, at this point, let's go over this. Let's go over this. Yeah, get, get the fucking body cam. Get the body cam. Go FOIA the body cam. Of me saying, this is ridiculous. This woman has been going after me for months. Posted my son's house online. Go, go FOIA the goddamn body cam. I don't give a fuck. So let's see what has been done to me because I outed a couple of public records of felons. Of felons. What, what has happened to me? I've had my name put out there. My whole last legal name, my whole last birth name, spelled out phonetically. I've had my job called. I've had the cops called. They put my you put my house online. The fuck! I was framing her. Get the go get the body cam. Go get the body cam. Now I'm framing her. Now what? I framed her by putting my own house up. I framed her by guys. Yeah, that was on Dude, Reddit. She was fucking on Reddit saying she No, 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 no. So she, so somebody put my address on Reddit, right? And then they kicked it out saying that I had infiltrated the Reddit group and doxed myself to frame them. Yeah, I'm going to put my I'm going to put my fucking whole ass address out there on Reddit to frame somebody because I'm that hell bent. I'm that hell bent. So you're saying they're denying it ever happened that it was all you? Yeah, that I, I've doxxed myself. I've called the cops on myself. I've called the house. But then Thea's actual account, you know, the one that she admits to, agreeable trick. Go look at that one. Go look at her comments. Uh, what is it? Agreeable trick uh, five, six, five, or five. Oh, you guys trying to shut me down now? I'm still on YouTube. Guys, if I get blocked on here for telling the truth about myself. Come on over to YouTube. Come over to YouTube. It's in, my, it's in my comments. Now they're trying to shut me up. Now they're trying to shut me up. You guys are getting what I wanted. I'm taking accountability. I'm telling everything about Ryan Lee. Oh, and Andrew. And Andrew, I'm telling it all. It's a tell-all. But now you want me quiet? Now I'm getting... Okay, I'm sorry, but this is sounding more and more like Trump. Now... <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I know I'm anti-Trump and everything. Now... This is exactly what you're doing. Now, you guys, now that I'm telling the truth, I'm telling everything about me, now you want to shut me down. This is fucking adorable. I love it. If I get taken off, feel free to join me on YouTube. By the way, after every live, just so you know, YouTube gets a little special extra treat. After I shut off my TikTok lives, I go on YouTube for an extra 20 or so minutes. And we have more details. You can't please them all, Tanya. I agree. You can't. So, you don't like that I've told all of it? 
Theo, you called the cops on me, and the cops said, this is fucking stupid. We won't be back. You guys want to call animal control? My animals are happy and healthy. Pretty soon, you do enough false uh, false reports, they will go after your ass. We've had it done. And keep running your mouth to where everybody can find out who you are, and you'll find a defamation lawsuit. Here's may the deal. Mean, maybe I may, person, but I may have put out public, public court records on felons because that's due diligence. There's plenty of channels that put out court reports on felons, right? But what I didn't do in that entire time is tell where people lived. I told the states. I told the states. Didn't tell the cities. Sure as hell didn't tell the address. But you guys did. But you guys did. You guys have put on my address. You guys have called my job. Thea, I know where you work. I could have done it to you. Begins with an L. I'll be nice. It begins with an L. I could have called your work. I could have. April, you could be turned in for all the shit that you're getting. But I didn't. I could have done a lot of shit. But I don't take shit real world. I don't take shit real world. I don't believe that online and real world are a thing. I don't call animal control. I don't call CPS. I don't call jobs. I don't call any of that shit. Because I know that real world is off fucking limits. And y'all don't. And y'all don't. Y'all think it's okay and you laugh about it. But guess what? All of those little laughing Reddit posts about how you guys are going to he 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 call the animal control and he 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 call the police. I showed them. I showed them. They know that y'all are fucking around. They know that y'all are fucking around. They know that you're doing this for no reason other than to try to get at me. Y'all made the stupid fucking post about me getting a knock on the door six hours before it happened. Smart, right? Giving me a heads up. Thank you. I needed that. Appreciate it. They know exactly what you guys are doing. My job knows. I warned them when I got the job. They already knew. My husband's job says no. We've all alerted our jobs. Courtney's job knows. You guys thought you did something by calling our jobs. They don't care. Cops don't care. They already know that you guys are out doing this shit. It's pointless. It's fucking pointless. They already know you're doing it. They already know. They've already said they're not coming back out here. So make your snark pages. Make your bullshit. My name legally is Ryan Lee Geyer. My birth, my fucking married name is Stacy Marie Geyer. My husband's name is Andrew Joseph Geyer. Feel free to run any of us. I don't care. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. And the reason that I am changing my name right now, the reason that I have changed my name this time number one i don't want a name with ember i don't want a name with ember and ember's caused problems within my husband's family and he don't want a name with that either but thank god we timed it the way he did and the way we did because now you guys might be able to find us on background reports because it's always there because we have nothing to hide but sure shit we changed our fucking names and i'm glad we fucking did we're not telling anybody He's changing his whole name. I'm keeping Ryan, but I'm, I'm changing my middle name and my last name. He's changing his whole name. Congratulations. You guys are awesome. You're taking it real world. You've accused my husband of merely because he had somebody on his Facebook. Of a criminal. Of offense, a criminal offense. Which is defamation. Because it's, because not, it's not on there. It's not proven in court. And there's nothing pointing. There's no evidence of it. That is definitely I've already explained that, Jack Astica. I've already explained that. I've already explained that. Number one, I'm going to go through this again for the people who need the crayons. Number one, I had a birth name. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. I had a maiden name. Most of you women did. Then you got married. We took our we took our husband's last names, right? There's name change number one. Name change number two. I've always hated my birth name. Fucking hated it. Okay? Moved to Kentucky. Changed my address. Changed my phone number, as you do. Changed my name. Fuck it. Okay? Found out I was Irish and was like, hey, I'm Irish. My name is Ryan. Okay. That was name change number two. Okay. 
Why am I changing it again? Just fucking said it. I want to fuck away from my I'm abusing my kid. Name and she needs to have a name that matches mine. He wanted to Not change his husband. because of bullshit. There you go. And now I got y'all motherfuckers. So there you go. Tanya can tell you I've always hated my name. Sunshine Shells has known me since I was 12 years old. Go harass her now. She's known me since I was 12 years old. When I tell you guys about that story about my friend who got pregnant at 13, that's her, guys. We've known each other since I was 12. And she knows for a fact I fucking hated my name. Don't go bother, Sunshine Shells. That, that was sarcasm. <laughs> that was sarcasm. She's known me since I was 12. Don't, don't them on other people. And she knows that I fucking hate my name. I've always hated my name. My my I'll tell you the story yet again. My mom thought she was back in the day when ultrasounds were a blob. You remember that? You didn't really get to know what you had. They told my mom she was having a guy. She was not gonna name me Kevin Raymond. Raymond after Uncle Ray. Raymond, you guys know Ray. Ray's an awesome stand-up guy. Okay, so my mom goes in. I'm Kevin Raymond. Out pops a out pops a cookie. Out pops a cookie. Right? My mom's like, fuck me. Fuck me. What am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna give her my mom's middle. I'm gonna give her my mom's first name, which is gonna be Murray, like every other 80s baby on the planet. But what am I gonna do for her first name? She looks up at the TV, Stacy Keach is on there, you know, the actor Stacy Keach. My mom's like, hey, I like him. That's how I got my name. It meant nothing. My first name meant nothing. My middle name was for a woman I had never met. She died when my mom was 15 in a tragic car accident. And my last name wasn't my mom's, wasn't my dad's. It was my mom's second husband that she never changed her name. My name meant nothing to me. Always has meant nothing to me. So I wanted a name that meant something to me. I took my mom's middle name. And I changed my first name to a name that had my heritage. Oh my God. There you fucking go. There's the full ass story. Now she's changing name again to go with her husband. My husband is changing his last name because Ember started some shit, riled up some shit in the family. My husband's done. We want our name away from her. The girl who abused me, check my playlist. I want my name away from her. And unfortunately, I gave her my mom's middle name. So now I have to change my middle name away from my mom. Awesome. Perfect. So we're changing our name. My husband says, I'm changing my name. I'm done. You you with me? You want to be you want to be married and have the same last name? I went, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There you go. There's Ryan. There's Ryan. Out whatever you want. Because at this point, you've outed my legal name. You've outed my birth name. You've outed my job. You've outed my house. You've outed all of it. You've called the police. You've threatened to call animal control. Maybe you did. They probably, it's tied to the police department. They're probably like, fuck this. My animals are more than taken care of. Everybody on here can attest to that. You guys have done everything. Now you're putting out a rumor that my husband has been grooming people. Go check his background report. Oh, but he didn't get caught. That's the next one that's going to be. He didn't get caught. Shut the fuck up. There's no evidence. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Here you go, here you go. Six days a week. 11 hours a day. I'm behind the camera. Being recorded. Yep. Six days a week. I come home. I'm with my wife. 24-7. That I have the passwords to his phone and his messenger and all that shit. And I can check it whenever I want. Yeah. So. What now? What fucking now? What fucking now? My husband is behind a fucking camera. 70 hours a fucking week. Now what? So Thea. Congratulations on calling the cops. You thought you did something. You agitated the cop. Good job. April. Thea, you're mad that I outed your court records because you guys did shit you didn't want to be caught with? Oh, fucking well. Public record. Public record. Maybe you shouldn't have done it. Maybe you shouldn't have done it. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't dox anybody. I never have. Because here's the deal. I have Thea and April's whole ass address. Both of their phone numbers. Yeah, Thea, I have your phone number. April gave it to me. I have both your phone numbers, both your addresses. I have Thea's place of work. I have all of it. All of it. But you know what? I don't go real world. 
I don't go real world. And y'all did. And what does that say about you? What does that say about you? Oh, I can hear their chat right now. Damage control, damage control. Get on now, get on now. Talk about it, talk about it. Go, go. Matter of fact, guys, go have fun. Go have fun on my Reddit snark page. What is it called? Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Lee TM snark. Go have fun. Go read it. Go have fun. Go participate. Go have fun. Have fun. Thea's on there on multiple accounts. Multiple accounts. Because she's stupid when she when she's on there. Matter of fact, she she had a conversation with herself. Forgot to log out, guys. I have the screenshot. She was on her account that she admits is hers, right? Con writing with another one. And she forgot to log out and answered herself. I have that thing. I have that screenshot, Thea. I have that screenshot. Congratulations. Good job. What the fuck was that? Someone driving down the road, probably. Yeah. There's a screenshot. There's, there's a screenshot of Thea talking to herself and she forgot to log out. Congratulations. Why don't you put the screenshot of them putting your address out? Oh, I have the screenshot where you guys deleted it, Dreamwalker. I believe, what did it say? Ryan came into our Reddit feed and doxxed herself. That I have the screenshot of, of, of me getting kicked out from doxing myself. That they erased it, doxing me. Put it up with my address blurred out. You guys erased it. You erased it. Congratulations. Good job. I guess you had a conscience. I have I have the screenshot of where you guys deleted it. Ryan infiltrated us and doxed us, and I erased it because I'm not gonna go down for doxing. I have that screenshot. Mm -hmm. I have that screenshot. I didn't even know what doxing was. Oh my god, he didn't. He said, What is doxing? <laughs> I had to explain to him what doxing was. I yes. did. Yeah. Dreamwalker, you sound a little you sound a little upset, Dreamwalker. You sound a little you sound a little caught in the cookie jar. You sound a little caught in the cookie jar. Yeah, oh yeah, we're licensed to carry. We don't need a license in Kentucky. It's wild wild west yeah, down it's, here. Uh, <laughs> it's wild it's west down here. Constitutional carry. Yeah, we can get we you don't uh, even we you don't need nothing. the same path as like 16 other states that have it. Yeah, you don't you don't need a license down here. It's the wild west. Dreamwalker, you we're saw like two steps away from Castle Law, too. What are you talking about? I wanted to see the proof, Dreamwalker says. Dreamwalker sounds like they got their hand caught in a cookie jar. Right, Dreamwalker? Where, where did they do that? You didn't go on Reddit and delete it just now? You didn't? No? Why am I attacking you? I don't know. Why are you asking me for proof that I've more than shown a million times? Come on, Dreamwalker. By the way, just so you know, apparently Eris. You guys are following Eris, E-R-I-S. Fancy's new little uh, lap dog. She's, been, she's had Eris in her pocket for about... A month or since I left, since I left, she's had Iris in her pocket, right? Well, apparently Iris went on live yesterday to outing me and my husband and my daughter, right? Yeah. So Iris admitted, I have that on video. Well, that or his little friend did. I'm not really sure which. Um, Iris admitted that he runs my snark page on Reddit. You guys didn't think I was going to get that, right? Like 17 of you messaged me with the fact that Iris admitted to that. Iris has been in, in April's pocket since I left. We've known that. And Iris has, has made um, Iris has made a snark page for me, Courtney, Nina, anybody who dares go after April. And there's a couple accounts on here that has all types of call-out videos for me, Nina, Bree, Court. April's always suspiciously missing. Always suspiciously missing. But Iris went, he, he went live. He was big mad. He was big mad. And he admitted that he runs my snark page. He was, he admitted he runs my snark page because he's been in April's pocket and he's drinking April's Kool-Aid. Iris, if you're in here. Is it blueberry? Iris, if you're in here. I like blueberry. Just so you know, you'll be next. She will 
do. She will turn somebody on you like she's turned you on me, like she's turned Sarah, like she turned me. Fuck, let's go to the beginning. Let's go to the beginning. She turned me against the Blanchards and everybody involved in them. She turned Sarah against me. She turned Iris against me. Is he the one who has the YouTube with all the snark page listers exposing the good wives? Ding, ding, ding. That could be Thea. I'm very confused. They have a VPN. I'll figure it out. Anyway. No, see, that wasn't stolen Kool-Aid, Becky. She didn't steal Kool-Aid. She got in trouble for siphoning money off the state over $400. And then, then afterwards, she got a perjury for lying about it. There was never Kool-Aid. That wasn't it. She was trying to get funds over $400 from the state of California. And once they called her on it, she lied in court. Which is what she's mad about because they outed that shit. Okay? So, did the Blanchards come to me before I cut ties with April? No. And I can prove it in text messages. No. They came to me three days after. Three days after. Wanting to clear the air. They did not come to me beforehand, and I can prove it. I am not pro-Gypsy. My friend, Christy, if she's playing me, y'all will know it. Because I will out it. Like I have outed everything else. I've never had a fucking problem outing people who fuck with me. And if Christy fucks with me, you all will know about it. But she has been a better friend to me than April ever had been. When me and Christy talk on the phone, she listens. She doesn't just do whatever. She is a decent human being. And y'all hate her because of April. What happened with me and Nina? Okay, here we go. Look, very simply, I had a live about this. Gypsy reached out to Nina because she was tired of being hated. Okay, I understand it. Hey, I do. Gypsy's naive. Gypsy told Nina some stuff that me and court had been holding in for a month. Yes, a month. At February 20th, we were still discussing. I have the text messages. Mama BB can tell you this. February 20th, I have text messages from when we were discussing this. Okay. This has been going on over a month. A time flies when you're having fun. Me and Court have known about the legal process between Christy and April for a month. Why didn't Christy have Gypsy come to me? Because why, why would Gypsy need to come to me? Gypsy's her own person. Christy doesn't sick around people. Anyway, so shortcake, fuck off. I've seen you everywhere. Fuck off. So to continue talking to YouTube now, shortcake pissed me off. Okay, so... Gypsy went and she told some things to Nina in confidence that Nina was, at the moment, holding on to. Okay? She was holding on to them. I don't know how long she would hold on to them. I have no idea. Okay? I don't know Nina well enough to know. I know that she threw Brie under the bus really fucking quick and Christy because, guess what, guys? Here's the deal. I have the tea. I have the text messages. I have the screenshots. And I will tell you exactly what the fuck happened. And, yes, I have the screenshots. And if you need me to show them later, I fucking will. But it is 301 and I'm in a mood. Okay? I have the screenshots. So, here we go. While I was live explaining what was going on, because y'all have been coming at me for a month wanting to know my big announcement that had to be put to the side. Okay? While I was explaining this, and yes, we outed it. I talked to Christy prior. Okay? Okay? Now, I'm going to explain. I'm not even going to read comments because I'm going to squirrel and go somewhere. So, I'm going to look at YouTube. I'm going to look at myself. Okay. So, I was on here explaining that Gypsy had talked to Nina and may have talked to someone else. And we wanted the we wanted the information about the legalities that were going towards April. And nor did I ever say the word lawsuit. Matter of fact said, I am not discussing what is being said because you all twist it. But lawsuit got thrown out there numerous times. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. I'm not fucking telling you. So while I am live, you guys come on my live and you tell me that Gypsy has deleted her social media. Now, somebody came in and they said, oh, she has to, according to her parole officer. And I said, that's not what happened. Her parole officer originally told her, and I know this, stop doing stupid shit. So 
so she stopped doing stupid shit. Well, guess what, guys? Her parole officer really did get a hold of her, and she really did have to get rid of her social media. And I know what another I know what another person on here is saying. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what the fuck happened. She got a call from her parole officer. She got told she had to take her shit down because Nina had called and reported it. Now, stick with me here because I'm going to tell you it wasn't Nina. Now, I have the text message. Gypsy had said that she had to take her social media down because of Nina. Okay? I have the text message. The one that showed that Bree showed is correct. It is not doctored. It is real. I have it myself. And Nina's name was mentioned. Now, fast forward to Reddit. Amy Foot. Do you guys remember Amy Foot? Amy Foot that we call out on here all the time? Apparently, Amy Foot went on Reddit, have those screenshots, and she took accountability and said that she did it, that she called. And in the meantime, while she was while Gypsy was told it was Nina, and Nina spent all her time throwing Brie and Christy under the fucking bus when it wasn't Brie or fucking Christy, but you didn't fucking know that, but I fucking did. Amy Foote went and took accountability and said that she was the one who fucking did it. So Amy Foote is the one who told you to who fucking blamed you, Nina. Not Bree, not Christy. Amy fucking Foote said that you did it, Nina. Put your name out there. It was Amy fucking Foote, not Christy, not Bree. And I have all of that shit as well. So yes, Gypsy had to take down her social media. Not because she chose to. I heard that that was another thing. Well, after the fact, blah, blah, blah. No, originally, originally, she had to take it down because somebody claiming to be Nina got her to where she had to take it off. Amy Foote, I believe her name is Amy Foote 6 on TikTok, then went on Reddit. She's a big fan on my Reddit page and said that she threw Nina under the bus. So let Nina know it was Amy Foote 6. And not Brie and not Christy. Brie actually really cares for Gypsy. Do me and Brie see eye to eye on pretty much fucking anything? Nope. Am I friends with Brie? Yeah. Do I think of anything? Do, we do not, we are not even in the same universe on what we talk about. She's pro Gypsy. I'm fucking not. I'm pro whatever the fuck leads me to whatever. Okay. But me and Brie, we talk. We're cool. We're whatever. And I can tell you. Brie would have never called on Gypsy, ever. And Christy's not going to do it either. Hey, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way, by the way. Why would Christy call on Gypsy? I'm going to throw y'all's words in your face. Why would Christy call on Gypsy if she's making money off the reality series? If Gypsy goes back to prison, reality series goes bye-bye and Christy's paycheck goes bye-bye too. Isn't that what you guys hate Christy for because she's on a reality TV show? If Christy calls on Gypsy, doesn't her paycheck go away? But y'all probably ate that up because Nina said it. Because Nina threw her under the bus. Because Nina was trying to get the heat off of herself. So she threw Brie and Christy under there. Brie, Gypsy's friend, and Christy, well, we all know Christy's using Gypsy for a paycheck supposedly, right? Right? No. Amy Foot six on TikTok. And I can't remember her name on Reddit. I'll have to look at the screenshot. Took accountability for it. Said that they did it. Said that they threw Nina under the bus. That they used clips of Nina. Said that they used clips of Nina. No, she did not, jackasses. I saw the video. She didn't hear. She said, I wouldn't be surprised if. She said, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw the videos. Don't gaslight me, bitch. Look, I get it. If Nina didn't do it and she wanted to know, I get it. Nina knows she didn't do it. She wanted to know who did do it. So she's going to throw whoever the fuck she can think of out there. Okay. She's going to, I don't blame her. She didn't do it. I don't blame her for trying to save her own ass. Brie did not come after Nina first. Oh, my God. She was outing what we knew. 
which what we knew was the text message that Gypsy said that the parole officer said Nina did it. We were going off of what Gypsy said, which is what her parole officer said, which is what Amy called the parole officer about and lied. Did you follow that little rabbit hole? She didn't go after Nina. We were going off of what we fucking had until we found out that Amy foot fucking did it. But for then Nina to go on and say that Bree's riding her coattails trying to get followers is fucking bullshit. Bree was trying to fucking look out for her friend. Bree doesn't go after anybody. And you can get, look at this, Bree dumb. Now they're going after Bree. Bree didn't go after anybody. She was actually really whatever. She was nice about it. She didn't say, oh, look, I have a text message. Nina fucking did this. I saw the video. She didn't. Bree's not trying to ride anybody's coattails. She could try to she could try to ride mine. Oh what? Because I gave her a shout out and told people to follow her. Oh no, that's some fucking whatever bullshit. That the only thing I got to say about this is Charlie. I've seen you before, burrito. Go the fuck away. Anyway, Bree's not trying to ride anybody's coattails. She was going off of what we knew at the time. Okay. That's what we fucking knew. And now we know that Amy Foote took accountability for it. Okay? Nina didn't do it. Let me set that straight. Let me set this straight. Nina did not call. Amy Foote did. Amy Foote threw Nina under the bus. Then Nina, rightly so, tried to save her ass. And threw Brie and Christy under the bus. Good job, Amy Foot. By the way, if you guys don't remember Amy, Amy is the one who said that she comes in and has my lives to pass her time while she slowly dies of cancer. Just so you guys know who Amy is. Oh, there goes Ryan making fun of it. No, I'm just simply letting you guys know. I'm just sitting, simply letting you guys know. That's the person. The person who came in here and said that they are in whatever liver failure and they watch my lives. And they can't deal with the fact of what's going on. Maybe don't be a shitty person. I don't know what to tell you. Bree is sweet as long as you don't disagree. I don't know anybody that is just like, oh, you disagree with me? Yay! I would like to know what Christy did to Nina so bad that she hates her so much. I don't know, Celeste. I don't know. I don't know. What Christy has done to any fucking person on this platform. Why is everybody going after Christy? For what? Do I don't know. I don't know what Christy has to do with the goddamn price of apples in France. What the hell does she have to do with anything? What? She's getting paid for a reality show? So fucking what? Oh, she's Gypsy's stepmother? So fucking what? She deals with you guys. And then, so then, I just see a video of Nina going after Christy. Saying that Christy essentially, for the most part, that April... Nina was just in a video saying about how April... It's probably partially right that Christy's some type of sack of shit who's been going after April. Show me one text message of Christy ever, ever harassing or stalking April. Show me one. One. What we have is April losing her shit on every fucking day calling Christy out. But now Nina's putting out there that Christy, I don't know what, asked for it? That asked for it? And that April could be right? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Look, I was keeping my mouth shut about Nina until I saw that video. April is batshit. She is batshit. She is completely fucking batshit. Okay? No, April has no credibility. And why is... Okay, that there is some truth to being Christy being a little shady? What? 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 What truth is there of Christy being shady to any of you guys? Show me. Show me. 
You show me what Christy has fucking done to be shady to anyone on TikTok. Show me. What cause did Nina have to say that April may be somewhat correct because Christy may be somewhat shady? Show me any shady behavior. Christy's come into numerous lives of numerous people saying that she understands why people are anti-gypsy. That's really fucking shady. That's really fucking shady. Maude, what pawns is she moving? What pawns? She reached out to me and said, I'm sorry to hear about you in April. I continued the conversation. <laughs> Gypsy reached out to Nina? Oh, it's the washing machine. So Gypsy reached out to Nina, so Christy's shady. Got it. Got it. Gypsy yes, reached... Girl. Gypsy reached out to, to, to Nina, so Christy's shady. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You're so productive. That makes sense. I see all of you fighting and not Christy. That's all I'm saying. Please don't take it the wrong way. Have you not met me? I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. I'm a scrapper. Christy is chill. She wants to be left alone. Christy is chill. Christy is the inner tube in the lazy river with a margarita. Christy is chill. Okay. I don't know how to explain this any better. She is chill. And you think she doesn't want to. She's told me a million times. And I quote, and Mama BB can tell me that this is a quote because this is what she uses. She wants to lose her religion on April Johns. When the time is right. Yeah. When the time is right. Knock it off, Nikki. But see, here's the difference. You guys know that I used to go for bat for, for April. You guys know this. I went to bat for April. Hardcore. Hardcore. You guys know this. I don't know why it is doing some of these. It's getting on my nerves. I am a fighter. It drives my husband nuts. I will insert myself anywhere because if I think that there's an injustice to be had, look, I'm defending Bree right now and Christy from Nina. I'm 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 defending Christy from April because that's who I am at my core. When I see somebody being shitty, when I see somebody getting their name drugged through the mud, I've had my name drugged through the mud. I've been the person that people have gone after. And I insert myself where I don't belong. Because that's who I am. Christy's never asked me to do any of this. Not once. Not fucking. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. One time she messaged me and said, Gypsy's not pregnant. You're right. Damn it. Damn it. Damn that Christy Blanchard. She told me Gypsy wasn't pregnant. God damn it. You're right. Wait, she, did she come on your lap and say that too? Yeah. Damn it. Christy told me she wasn't pregnant. And from there on, she just, oh my God, that was it. That was it. That was the time it all changed. That was it. She has never asked me to do a goddamn thing. I've offered. Because I see you guys going after her. You can on YouTube I can see your hubby playing Final Fantasy in the reflection on the aquarium. You can. <laughs> you can. It's right it's right here. It's right here. Or fuck me, it's right there. Right there. Games. Okay. Christy has never asked me to. Objective question. Didn't she get people Gypsy's records? Yes, because April came to her as a producer saying she wanted to accurately portray Gypsy's thing to get her hands on the fucking records. Which, by the way, if you guys want a dramatic reading of them, April will be, will be releasing them Sunday on the Good Wives Network. Just so you know. And I hope that anybody on here that watches that thinks to themselves, damn, when I went to the doctor in 2011, I wish my shit was being read in 2024 from some batshit woman with a vendetta. I hope that everybody that watches that gets the karma that they deserve. I will always stand up for my friends. I don't care. I don't care. 
That's who I am. I will have your back when you're not in the room because that's what I would want. You treat people the way you want to be treated. And that is the way I'd want to be treated. I'd want my name to be taken care of when I wasn't in the room. And a lot of you do. Thank you. Thank you. I get messages every day of people who've been blocked on myriad of accounts defending me. And I appreciate every fucking one of you that has taken up from my name when I wasn't in the room. I did the reenactment. Two wrongs don't make a right. Who's to say I still don't believe that motherfucking reenactment? I may talk to Christy. I don't talk to Gypsy. And even if I talked to Gypsy, I would tell her flat the fuck out why I did it. Y'all say that like it's going to fucking change. Y'all say that like it's going to fucking change. I still have my thoughts on Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I am Christie's friend. I am not Gypsy's friend. I have never spoken to Gypsy Rose. Now, I more than invite Gypsy to speak with me. More than. I will always speak to someone. I'll always take my time. If Gypsy were to call me up today and say, look, Ryan, I know you don't like me. I need somebody to talk to that's objective. You know what I'd do? I'd hang up the slide and I'd talk to her because that's who I am as a person. I have given, I will tell you guys another story. I was dating this guy and he dumped my ass and I deserved it. I broke into his email. I deserved it. I was nuts. Anyway. He starts dating this girl and I don't like her. I don't like her. Me and my friends make her life hell. I don't like her. And I saw that girl walking from my ass end of the town to her ass of the town. I lived on one shitty side of this, uh, of this county or of the city and she lived on the other shitty side. I was west side. She was east side. If you get my drift. And I knew she was walking home. And it was a long walk. About 10 miles. I pulled my fucking car over and I said, girl, I don't like you, but I'm not going to let you walk. Get in the car because that's who I am. I don't give a fuck if I don't like you. I will always still have your fucking back. It doesn't matter to me. I've never talked to Gypsy. But I would. And not to outer shit. There's things I know. There's things I know. There's things I know about that family. Mm -hmm. There's things I know. Y'all don't know. I could have outed them. I could have outed a lot of shit. I could out a lot of shit, but I don't. Here's the difference. When Christy says, this is us, it's this is us. Now, I will tell you this. She told me when she gave me that text message. That Gypsy said about Nina. She says, do not show this to anybody. She showed me that text message. And let me tell you what happened after that text message. Just so you guys can get a little iota who I am. She showed me that text message and I saw red. I said, the fuck you are going to make me sit on this. I said, if Nina did this, if Nina took away and took that real world, I'm going to out that bitch. Because you don't take shit real world and that is fucked up and it doesn't matter if I or how I feel about gypsy you don't take shit real world do not make me sit on this and I was gonna go live but I came home and I spent time with my husband and Brie went live and I'm glad I didn't go live because Nina didn't do it Amy Foot Six did but at that time I don't care whether or not I like gypsy you don't take shit real world you don't call jobs you don't call police you don't call animal control you don't show addresses you don't do shit and whatever my feelings were on gypsy rose you don't go real world and for that moment i was gonna go to fucking bat for her period because she deserved it she deserved to have someone in her fucking corner when someone went real world whether or not i fucking like her or not you don't go real world
Christy is cool. She is a chill, chill person. She, uh, Andrew was, Andrew's like, after surgery, she's on the phone with me. And she knows, she's like, oh my God, he's in so much pain. Let me, let me show you this stuff that we use for teeth. And she sends me this stuff, you know, and she's like, you got to try this stuff. And she, but I'm not going to get it here in time, you know. I was talking about the fact I need to fix my fence. She's like, oh, I wish I could help, you know, whatever. Um, Carly, it was about the fact that she was trying to send messages to Nick. She was not. That was not even, that was not even a thing. That was not a thing. That's a, that's a part of her parole. She can't do that. Okay. Christy has offered to let me come down there and, 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 and take me to all the places that are cool. She's a good person. Oh my God. Yeah, that's it. That, that's why Ryan's in her corner. Christy, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. My God, what can be done if she reads the medical records online? Let me tell you this. Do I know if a goddamn thing can be done? No. Do I know that there's goddamn things that are aiming to be done? Yes. Do I think, do I think that Colleen, if she reads those records, should be put up against the board of fucking healthcare? Yes. Do I think that if Colleen puts her nose where she does not belong and reads those records, that her license should be yanked because she cannot be trusted with patient confidentiality? Fuck yes. Do I know of people that are going to call the board? Yes. Am I going to be one of them? No. Am I going to fucking think about it? Damn straight. You cannot trust a provider who is going to out shit publicly and you deserve to have your license yanked. This ain't about calling fucking jobs. Because I'm probably not going to do it. But I know people that are. And I'm sure as hell not going to stop them. You don't out people's records. You are give, You are taking an oath. You take the Hippocratic oath. To not out patient's confidentiality. And if she does that. She is not to be trusted as a provider of any health care. And I said what I fucking said on that. Somebody outed my medical records that I had from 2009 when I'm in the middle of a goddamn... Okay, cool. I had a nice little meltdown when I was in college. Great one about 2011. I would love to have that read in 2024. In my bad times. I would love that. That'd be great. I went there assuming that my shit was private. For some little vendetta bitch to read that shit out loud. The fuck do you think you are, April Johns? I drank your fucking Kool-Aid. You told me you had those records fully legally, that they were fully legally able to be read. You fucking lied to me. You're fucking lying to her and you're fucking lying to everybody else. And by the way, just a thought. Yeah, Colleen has no right to sell those records, but here's the kicker. HIPAA only works for healthcare providers. April can't be hip with HIPAA. Colleen can. That is a violation of HIPAA because it covers healthcare and privacy of workers with licenses. That is a HIPAA violation, Colleen. I'd be really careful. Chris, it wasn't the fact so much Christy gave them out. Did Christy, in order for that documentary that April Johns fraudulently said she was going to make, she gave them to people. She did. You could say Gypsy did it. You could say Christy did it. You could say however anybody did it. They were given in good faith. That's the problem. They were given in good faith. They should have been given back. They gave those records on good faith and false pretenses. Period. How did she convince them she was a producer? How does she convince any of you guys to fucking drink her Kool-Aid? How did she convince me to drink her Kool-Aid? She's good at what she does. Okay. She gave them. 
And we all make mistakes. We all also don't think that that's going to be read on social fucking media. I'm wishing, okay, so now you're wishing death on people as a form of karma? Oh, what? Because of, of what I said about Amy? I said, no. I said, you are sitting here saying that you are having something horrible happen to you while being absolutely horrible to other people. That could be looked at as a form of karma. No, I'm not wishing death on anybody. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You said that anywhere. A troll fucking just said that I no, wish you death. Said, you said that. We went, said that I said. wished death on Amy because of what she said. No. I said, if you're sitting here saying that you are having these horrible things happening to you while doing these horrible things, people want to talk about my karma? That could be her karma. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't. Because if she's done shitty things like this, maybe she could have done shitty things before. I don't fucking know. You ain't going to twist my shit. You probably are going to twist my shit, but that's besides the point. No. I'm not wishing death on anybody. I would never wish death on somebody. Shut the fuck up. My God. It sounds an awful lot like people put words in other people's mouths. Exactly. I definitely did not. Oh, let me guess. You're going to show a clip? I said, maybe that's karma. That was not, I, I never said the words. I hope she kicks the bucket. Because you said that I wished death on somebody. I didn't wish death on somebody. I said, well, somebody came in where, here. Where you said something about someone with liver cancer. Yeah, I like said, that. she comes in here saying that she has this. She does shitty things that could be looked at as a form of karma is what I fucking said. Who am I to say that? anybody who was somebody who just okay who was the person to say that i was getting my karma who were they to say that oh wait oh wait pot meat kettle people are allowed to tell me that i'm getting my karma but i can't say that that possibly is their karma it could be their karma it could not be their karma i don't fucking know i don't fucking know i don't know what type of person she is but i can tell you that a person who runs their mouth on a snark page, a person who calls a PO officer, a person who calls a PO officer and blames it on somebody else is not a good person, Amy. You're not a good person. And now you're having shitty things happen to you. Are they connected? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Could they be? Yeah. Could they not be? Yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I can tell you that as of the past two months that I can see, Amy is not a good person. She is actively participating, not only in my Reddit page, but apparently my Discord. I have a Discord, y'all, now. I have made it. She is actively in my snark pages, actively in my Discord, actively called Gypsy Rose's per parole officer, actively called the parole officer, pretending and pointing to Nina. That is not a good person person make sure when you post the shit that i said make sure to point out all the things where i said she's a bad person the blanchards are the common denominator april johns is the common fucking denominator bro yeah coming on your real account amy coming on your real account amy iris thea april coming on your real accounts quit hiding one thing I don't do is hide. That's why it's irritating to me that people say that I'm on Reddit. My name on Reddit, go look it up, is I am Ryan Lee. Last time I commented on shit was a year and a half ago. Yes, they have a Discord just to talk about me. People I know are in it. Good job. Anyway, my name is I am Ryan Lee because I hide in plain sight. I don't think she is sick, to be honest. I think that I think that could have been a pity story. I don't know. How can somebody come in when you block them? I didn't block them. April's not blocked on this account. Thea's not blocked. Thea blocked me. Thea's not blocked. Thea's not blocked. April's not blocked. Amy Foote's not blocked. She was just in here. She might be blocked now. I think Court blocked her. Alicia Queen B. 
Queen B has made a presence known. How's Discord, baby? Yeah, they have a whole Discord to talk about me now. Play dumb. I just find it so hilarious. Play dumb. That they spend their life I got the screenshots. Them. Play dumb. Play dumb. I got the screenshots. Y'all need to be more careful who you let in Discord. How do you think I knew about it? I got people in the Discord. I got people in the Snark page. People everywhere. That's what I do. I plant them. I plant them like the evil Christy Blanchard planted me. I learn. I don't learn. I know. Alicia, where'd you go, Queen Bee? Alicia is in Discord. She made the point to say she her name that she used to be Alicia. 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 Alicia Michelle. My name was in here. I was Alicia Michelle. Alicia Michelle's in here, Core Queen B. The screenshot. Remember, we wanted to know Queen B, Alicia Marie, uh, Michelle. You said that she came in here. She was just in here a second ago. You don't know who Queen B is? Okay, cool. Don't you love when cats meow quietly? Like, oh god! And then three of the dogs were just like, "Yeah, you can't exist. We're good." So yeah. So I hope that this, you know, put the make sure. Okay, what should we title this live? Oh, by the way, exposing good wives. Exposing good wives, that is not me. You guys are following that. That is not me. Exposing good wives on YouTube is not me. Are the dogs sleeping? No, they're right here. It's Fuck. me. There's some right here. <laughs> Fuck I got, me. I got one, two, three, four, six underneath. Yeah, there's a bunch of them over there. They're not sleeping. They're here. Um, Which kid? She's under. Oh, she, well, no, she took off that way. Exposing good wives on uh, YouTube is not me. They've been stealing my content. And I see I see a lot of you guys coming on there that you're glad you found me. Thank that you. is not my account. Exposing good wives is not my account. It's a snark account. I dropped the phone. Um, exposing good wives on YouTube is not me. It's a snark account. It's killing me. The first two or three episodes of the Good Wives podcast is all about Colleen and the medical records. Oh, that's interesting. My YouTube account, you can find it in my pinned video. It's it's a long name. It's used Socratic method. Um, but yeah, exposing good wives on YouTube is not me. If you are following it for me, go follow my account. And stop following snark pages. That's not my account. That is the people who steal my content to talk shit about me. Well, it's one of two people. Iris, Iris admits to running my Reddit snark page. And we've caught Thea on numerous accounts on Reddit. Numerous accounts. Someone in here is recording my live and putting on the snark page. Yes, I am aware. I am very aware. Iris has admitted to running my snark page on Reddit. And Thea made a very stupid mistake when she was commenting back and forth with a user of forgetting to change her name back. And that name admitted to being three other names. And again, be careful who you talk to. I have them admitting it to a user that they have nine of them. Remember that conversation? Be smart. Right, Titania. So basically, YouTube goes like this. Follow me on YouTube. 
And when I get off of TikTok, I stay on YouTube for an extra 20 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Talking over on YouTube because I would like to, I would like to have a lot more content on YouTube, to be honest. So, um, yeah, exposing good wives is not about exposing fancy, if you haven't noticed. Where's fancy shit on there? As a matter of fact, the snark pages in the bio point to me, Court, Nina, and Bree. Fantasies is on there, but come on, let's be real. YouTube, it's in my um, in my TikTok. It is in my pinned videos. You can find all my accounts there. I am now having to hold the phone because it fell off my thing. Um, but yeah, so I hope this live has been informative. I'm sure. Go go join the Reddit. Go look. I don't care. I, I told you guys how to find it. Ryan Lee's Ryan Lee TM Snark on Reddit. Go have fun. I don't care. Go read. I'm sure they're having a blast. Oh, Ryan is lying. Ryan's just saying this. Ryan is saying that. You're tired. You're old and you're pathetic. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You've done what you've done. You did what you did. And it's all sad. To recap, my husband had a person who was in jail for doing diddly things with diddly kids. We haven't talked to him in years. Get over it. Shelby is not some missing girl that we adopted. It's Ember. That was her name. You've called my job. You've called the police. Who did not give a fuck? You've called CJ's work. You've called Courtney's work. You've put up my address. You've put up my real name. And you want to talk about me doxing you, Thea? Really? If I wanted to dox you, I'd say exactly where you are. Exactly all your addresses, exactly all your phone numbers, and exactly your job. That's what you've done to me. But I'm not going to. By the way, the screenshot that you sent to police, the where you said on 3-9, on March 39, that I said I, that I doxed you and I'd do it again with malice. I have the recording of 3-9. And in it, I specifically said I would release your public record background report if you didn't quit your shit. And that's what I told the cops. Because that's what you sent the cops was a Reddit snapshot. Because I I uh, I CAD reported it, I CAD reported it to find out exactly what was said, and Thea sent a Reddit screenshot to the state police, and I have that recorded, and it says that I will I will release your public record if you do not leave me alone. Your public record, your court records, if you do not leave me alone. And you continued on, and then you called the police, and you did a lot of things. You want to talk about harassment? By the way, for the 19,000th time, number one, I don't run anything on fucking Reddit. I don't know how. Number two, your parody page is telling the truth. It's not me. I have literally shown you, me and my husband's hands, well, you gave it to somebody else. No. That girl came to me. After going after you, she was on your fucking bio fucking beauty page, which is where she started calling you out on your shit. She's been calling you out on your shit since before I fucking knew you. Pay fucking attention. She really does have a Jaguar. She really does live in another state. She really did get her boobs done. I know who she is. She's talked to me. We are friends. I do not run that fucking account. Your internet, by the way, I love how you're getting your jollies. Up. I have an internet stucker. No, you have an internet person who's calling you out on your shit. And you have an entire section of Reddit that is calling you out for your service, lack of service. I don't know what the fuck you've done or not done. You showed a picture of you in a uniform, which may or may not mean shit. To be honest, I don't know. I'm not the one saying this, that, or whatever. I know Reddit's eating you fucking alive. I know that, and that's what you're mad about, because you think that I started it. I didn't start it. Somebody else did. The person who is literally sitting here sending me hearts and puffs. I didn't start it. She did. If you don't like it, you think other people don't like you? A lot of people don't like you. As you guys always want to say on my Reddit. We have a million counts pinned to you. Your VPN don't mean shit. 
It don't mean shit. There is fucking things you can use to get past a VPN. Hate to break it to you. You've been caught numerous times talking to yourself, forgetting to change. Okay, so there's one where they're talking. They're like, oh, she thinks I'm you. Oh, she thinks I'm you. Oh, I'm me. She thinks I'm me. I think I'm you. Blah, 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 blah. And she forgot to fucking change goddamn channels when she said it. I got the screenshot. And then Courtney said that she had defended one of the accounts, because she did, because I told her it was her. She didn't believe me. And then she's going on about how, in another fucking name, well, Courtney defended me. Not on that name, bitch. Not on that name, bitch. Don't know what to fucking tell you. Yeah, yours fucking runs it. Thea's got multiple accounts. Thea decided she wanted to put my whole ass name on Reddit while complaining I put hers out there. That's the kicker. That's the kicker. She says that I've been doxing her. That's what she told the police, is that I doxed her. Number number one, girl, I have your phone number, your address, and your place of work. If I wanted to release it, I could, but I don't, okay? You've put my name out there like I've put your name out there. I put your public record out there because it's public record. I have never done anything remotely that would lead anybody to you. As a person, as a job, as a whatever, I've never done that. Nor will I. But you have. And you know you have. And you talk about you're going to a lawyer. I don't know what lawyer on fucking, on whatever, whatever, anything. Because I have never doxed you publicly. I have never said your place of work. I have never said your place of employment. I have, or that, that is work. I've never said where you live. I've never even gave the city of where you live. That's the kicker. I've never even given your city, bro. I have your whole ass fucking street address. And by the way, can I just say this? You said you hired a PI, but I was in a live with you where you said you are a PI. So are you that shitty of a PI that you have to fucking order one? Because I was in a live with you talking about, and you're like, I'm a PI. But then you had to get one? Guys, don't go to her. She has to order one to have one because she sucks. By the way, you're not a PI. We all know where you work. You work at L. And you know where L is. Okay? And by the way, if you guys, uh, you might want to screen record this portion. You might want to screen record this portion to get it right. Natasha Cooper's been running her fucking mouth about me. I'm going to let her talk. Her 785 call-out videos on YouTube are more than enough to tell me that she's got, she just picks a person and goes after them. She goes after them for whatever. She's went after me about my piercings, my tattoos, my weight, my sexuality, where I work. She's went after all of it. Girl, I've never seen you not off of a couch. I have never seen you not picking off somebody. I have never seen you not trying to get money off of somebody. I've never seen you not putting dead babies autopsies behind a paywall. Those live in shitty houses should not throw shitty stones. You can continue to have your lives about me on TikTok and Reddit and, or Rumble or where I'd say YouTube, but you're banned. Um, feel free to keep talking. Feel free to keep talking. I'm bringing you views. Congratulations, as you like to say, because, you know, you said that my little platform with my few followers and my few views. Girl, I got what, eight? Uh, I can't do the math. Nine, nine times, nine times the amount of followers you have. I have just as many people in my lives as you do. And yet you talk about me nightly. Keep talking. It's bringing you more fucking followers. Keep talking. If you need, if you need me to do that, go ahead. If you need to put a fucking cartoon of me up on your crime page. I know, right? If you need to put a cartoon of me up. I would, I would get a car. I would get a cartoon of you, but it would be so unflattering. It would be flagged. So continue doing what you're doing. I'm not going to bother with you. People are keep sending me your mug shots and your, and your 5,000 to 10,000 fucking felonies and whatever. I'm not going to post them. I'm not going to do anything. I don't give a fuck. Keep talking. I don't give a fuck. Nobody fucking listens to you anyway. I don't care. I'm trying to stay relevant. And you need somebody else to fucking do that with. Have fun at it. Go have another live about me. I really don't give a fuck. Anyway, God damn it, it is 347. I said I was getting off here at three. I buy followers. 
<laughs> That's what it is. She can't get them, so I must buy them. I'm, I've am i been on this platform for three fucking years. And they're like, well, you must buy followers. You don't get a lot of likes. I don't know. Maybe they don't like my content. I still have followers. I don't have to buy followers. I don't give a fuck. The other day, I literally took 200 of you fuckers off my page. I don't care. I don't need to buy them. I got other shit I need to buy. I need to fix my fence. I don't need. I don't need to fucking buy them. I took two hundred of you off the other day because you were following a snark page. If I needed them, do you really think after I paid for them, I'd fucking return them? Come on now. I've been on here for three years. I've built my platform on a myriad of things. Whether it is outing my child, maybe she shouldn't have fucking abused me. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Whether it was viral videos, whether it was a, a fucking pregnancy account that I shut down, whether whatever it was, whether it's my true crime, whether it's my fucking pleasant, sunny nature, I have built a following and I'm sorry because you can't build one. You assume other people buy their followers. Trust me, I got other shit I need to pay for. As, as you point out, I work at a pizza place. I'm a fucking broke joke. How could I afford followers? I will tell you this, though. This jump scare is getting really scary to every fucking buddy. Can you not do that? Buy some fucking glasses. Christ. Anyway. Get some glasses if you can't read the fucking screen. I know you're mad because the thing is she doesn't want her anything other than her head being shown. We all know why. Anyway. You need to know what Thea does so you can sleep at night. Don't worry about it. I ain't going to be baited into that. Thank you. I'm good. Really? I sleep like a baby. No. No. I, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not following into that. That I just start outing her work after I just said I wouldn't. I'm good. I'm good. I scared you. I'm sorry. It was even scary on TikTok. Are you, are you on TikTok? Is that why you were scared? Oh, there you are. Hi. That was pretty scary. I'm sorry. If she can't see, well, I think she needs glasses. But uh, anyways, guys, yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah, that close up on your screen, you have to have glasses. All right, guys. Um, anyways, um, it is uh, 3.50. I'm going to go do my exclusive content over on YouTube. It's nothing special, but I give a little bit more extra time over on YouTube. So I suggest you follow over there. All right, guys. She is out all of that. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker, all of it. Thanks, guys. I will talk to you later. Hey, guys. So I hope that this live lives on in posterity, prosperity, as my husband says. I hope that everything has been... More than I hope that everything has been cleared up. Watch out, big fucking hundred pound dog. He's in my way. Look, I'm look, I'm off. I'm eating, I'm eating my Fritos. Eat my Fritos. Eat my Fritos. You know, the fact that I have to keep going on, repeating myself. It's frustrating because I have followers I've had for three years. Oh, look at the motherfuckers now. Fuck y'all. All 49 of you, fuck you. All 49 what? of you, fuck you. What? All 49 of you, fuck you. You know who you are, every 40 fucking nine of you. 39. 39. Every 39 of you. I can't have. All 39 of you. Fuck all y'all. I'm just minding my business to eat my Fritos. Is that my new tagline now? Should that be my new tagline? Yes. I'm just minding my business to eat my Fritos. Fritos, Fritos. Ah! That was an awesome edit. Can I just say that? You scared the dog. I did. <laughs> Can I just say that was an awesome edit? They thought they did something there. They thought they did something there. I, we saw that. Somebody sent it to me, and I sent it to my mod team, and they're like, that is fire. Fucking post that shit. 
That was an amazing edit. I want to. That snark page did not know what they were doing when they did that. I was like, that is awesome. Fuck it. I'm going to post that shit. Fuck every one of you, dude. Every fucking one of you, motherfuckers. All 64 of you. What are they doing? I ain't telling you what they're doing. What are they doing? I ain't telling you shit. That's to do with me? Nope. Okay, okay. How dare I eat on a live? God damn it. This is all I've had to eat all day, bro. And I'm getting ready to go into work where I'm hope hopefully we fuck up a pizza that I can eat. I don't like our pizza. Like for all, I don't like our pizza. You bought Fritos just to watch me? Nice. Fritos and Mountain Dew, hell yeah. You're going to get some Fritos just for watching my lives and the husband better not touch them. Fuck all y'all. Every fucking one of y'all. Fuck every one of y'all. Oh, y'all. And if you don't like me, blow me. Fuck all y'all. My viewer account just doubled. Doubled. So all your followers doubled? Nice. Just because I said I was coming over here, it's still going up. That's what I'm doing from now on. I'm going to do my TikTok thing. And then I'm getting off and I'm coming over here. And eventually there's going to be lives just on here. Yeah, I feel like she needs to be just on there with her lives and still post videos on, on TikTok. You were here from day one? Good job, Bri. I need a mic. Okay. Okay, they're saying that I they're they are saying I need a mic. Yeah, I'm gonna get her a mic and a better camera. Yeah. That's gonna be my that's gonna be my um birthday present. Yeah, she's getting a mic, a better camera, and a uh, backdrop. Okay. And guess what? Oh, Sabrina in Salem. Hey, girl. You are the reason that April lost her mind. Sabrina in Salem lost. That is part of the reason April lost her mind. She is the one that Fancy thinks that she blocked when she blocked me. That was. What flavors are my breathing treatment? Yours is Swedish fish. Uh, you don't have to say breathing treatment on there. It was just a joke. That's what they call it. Okay. This is what I use. Right here. This is my favorite one, y'all. This is my favorite one. My favorite, 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 hands down. Um, This is my new mod about myself. It's very pretty. This is not my work mod. This is my stay-at-home pretty mod. I got lots of mods. This is my work mod right here. This is why I take this little, little, little tiny baby. I take my little tiny baby. Um... Well, you know what? Let them. Let, whatever. We'll see. Whatever. We'll see. There is a. There's a whole channels about vape on here. So I guess we'll see. We'll find out. Ryan, the exposing good wives played auto after your lives in my YouTube, but I figured it wasn't you. But the one that played cracked me the hell up. It was the one when I was sick. Is that the one where April told me to shut the fuck up? I was coughing, y'all, and she told me to shut up. I still swear it was somebody down in the goddamn box, but everybody keeps telling me it was her. I don't know. My coughing was making it to where she couldn't talk. I'm so sorry. I'll die in peace. The fuck? I'm, I don't know what Portillo's is. Look, it's it's so crazy to me that I have to. It's so crazy to me that I have to keep acknowledging this shit. I have to acknowledge it. Um, I know she basically just went. Can you die quietly? Um, here's the deal. I was never gonna. I was never gonna say whether or not the cops showed up at my house. Reddit was losing their mind. What is that? My sheet. Oh, my God. I've been asking for two weeks. I'm going on Timu. Team, team 
Walmart. No, I'll go to Walmart. Walmart. We'll go to Walmart. I'll go on Walmart. I'll go pick it up after work. I'll go pick one up after work. I need two sets. I'll pick it up after work. I'll send you the two sets I want. All right. Anyway. Um, I wasn't even going to bring it up because Reddit was losing okay, their I'll mind that I hadn't said anything. Yeah, obviously. Reddit was losing their mind because they didn't say anything and I was having fun fucking with them. What do you need? What? Oh, the table they were all losing their mind because I hadn't said nothing. So I figured I would just say everything today. Yeah. 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 That one. That one. You can use that one. Anything else you want in there with my pillowcases and no. my bed liner? No. No. Okay. You know what? It's just ridiculous to me that they have to upload my lives for views. Honestly, it's kind of flattering. They acknowledge the fact that they can only get views and followers with my content. Well, yeah, of course they were because they're mad. They're mad that I stopped their fun. I don't know if I'm going to be back on here after work. Um, we're supposed to be playing video games after work. That's why I came on live now. Is my safety being in question with all this nonsense? Well, I mean, my husband's been carrying around a device. I keep a device in my room. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's Kentucky. It's the wild, wild fucking west down here. Not even kidding. Onion rings. Always onion rings. No cheese sauce. <laughs> always onion rings. Always, always onion rings. I need you, uh, half too. I do not do corned beef and a habit. The uh, uh, gray one's starting to shred, too. Okay. So I'm going to need me one of those. Can I All go right. on a few move find one of those? Yeah, no. Look, can you wait till I get off here? I'm going to talk to you about it. I don't need it right now. No. Oh. Yeah, go on and look, I guess. Yeah. You know what it is. My alarm told me to get the fuck off here. I need to go to work in a minute. (laughs) I have some fucked up alarms, okay? I have fucked up alarms. I have fucked up alarms. What can I say? I don't do corned beef and cabbage. I just, I can't do it. Mm -mm. Not a fan. Not a fan. I get. I have all sorts of weird alarms. Let's see. They're all genres too. Hold on, watch this. I'm gonna guess that these are the fuzzy type blankets, like my tiger one was. Probably. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. I have for alarms. Every time I drop, I wave and I see right through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fuck you too. I have. I was hoping not. I was hoping so. Why? But it's not. That's just a blanket, though. I know. I need one. Oh, okay. But what size is that? 
two different sizes. Yeah, they start going crazy the bigger you Which, get. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, 15 bucks. Yeah, yeah, no, we could do that. I'm for sure. Add it to my cart. Yeah, we could do that for sure. None of them are um No, and I'm gonna tell you why. Oh my god. They dropped just hold on. Okay. No, I was just showing you. I'm gonna tell you why you my alarm is not mba. I get really mad at my alarms. That's why I have so many alarms because I get really mad at my alarms. Like I cannot stand random noises out of nowhere. I have really bad sensory issues. So like when a sound comes on really bad, I start hating the song that it is. And I don't want to hate my anthem. So that is why I do not have it. Yeah, I don't want to hate the song. No, I could put it as a ringtone, but even that makes me angry. I don't like sounds out of nowhere. Sounds out of nowhere just scare the shit out of me. So. How can you tell if they're deep or not? You like me being on YouTube? I can put it on TV. Now, I can tell you they're not deep, babe. If they're on Timu, they're not deep. No, these, I'm at Walmart. It'll say deep. Okay, deep pocket. Okay. That's what I mean. Yeah, you can put me on your TV, and if you have an 80 inch TV and I have a 50 inch head, that is to blame on you guys. That is to blame on you guys. It's just that if you have an 80 inch TV and my head is like 30 inches wide, that is on you. And I hope that your children have nightmares. Honestly. So, wow, these are more expensive than thought. That's why I said, that's why you're getting a flat sheet. Oh, wait, here, here's a set for $22.99. All right, guys. Anyways, I got to go to work. So, I got to go to work. So, anyway, I might, I don't think we're going to play games when I get off work, ain't we? Yeah. Okay. This is my life for tonight. Got to go to work. Unless I, you get off and you're like, oh, I want to go live instead. No, I won't do that. I told you I, I told you I played with you. All right. I gotta go. Good night.